Hey, 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 how y'all doing today? This is the place to be, so come on, y'all. We're going to cook today. So, yes, yeah, so on the menu today, we have some pepper steak. I'm making pepper steak with some rice and some broccoli, y'all. I got to show y'all I got skills. I don't always eat out, so we're going to do more cooking videos, more cooking videos. So, I'm joining you, uh, Uncle Chris. <laughs> I'm joining you, Uncle Chris. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing it. And, and, and you have a lot of, um, this goes out to Uncle Chris. You have a lot of uh, recipes that I will try, do want to try. So, yeah, but tonight is pepper steak, y'all. It's pepper steak with rice and some um, some broccoli. We're going to do that. All right, so I already cut up my peppers. Hold on, y'all. I cut up all my peppers. So we got every color. We got uh, yellow, orange, green, and red in here. All colors because I like it. I like a lot of peppers, and then we have the onions, y'all. So this is going to be going in towards the end, you know, when everything is, is already done. And then also, I'm going to add some mushrooms, only because I already had these, and I don't want them to go bad, y'all. So I'm going to um, bulk up my meal with this, and, you know, it'll stretch it out, and we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. So I'm going to be adding, um, what's this, portobello mushrooms. All right, so we're going to get started. I already cut up my meat right here. This is all the meat. This is chicken steak. Um, that's what they call it. A chuck, whatever, I don't know. But I like this steak because, see, I, I cut it up into these strips. It wasn't, they didn't come like this. But I like this one because it's tender, you know. I like tender meat. I don't like those, uh, the steak that's so rough and tough, you know. So, all right, so let's do some little seasoning. So we're going to first start out with um, some onion powder. Okay, so we're going to hit this with some onion powder. And you season however way you like. And you season, but don't be afraid to season because there's nothing worse than some bland food. So what I'm doing now, let's see if I can lift this up. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all can see a little better like that, right? Yeah, y'all can see that. All right, so I'm just moving the meat around so I can hit every piece of this meat with this uh, seasoning. Okay, so it has a lot of onion powder, so that's the onion powder. All right, next we're gonna hit it with some, some garlic powder. Okay. So like, I'm moving the meat around. All right, that's the garlic powder, y'all. Next, I can't do nothing without my complete. This stuff is great. It's so delicious. So tasty. So we're going to liberally go ahead and hit this up on every side because you want it to be yum yum good. You want it to be finger licking. Go to bed afterwards, you know, nap time, that good. That's how good you want it to be. And you, like I said, you season it the way you want to. This, to me, I love this seasoning. It don't make it salty, but it just, it gives it everything that it, I feel it needs. Okay. I am going to add this. Oh, um, getting a call. Isaiah, get on the phone here. The house phone. Call your father and tell him I'm, I'm videoing and he needs to not call me on, his, on my phone. Because I'm on. Tell him. Find the house phone. Use the thing to find it. All right, so we'll, we'll use, sorry, y'all. We'll use this later. But I am going to put a little beef seasoning in here. This one. Just a little because this is this has got salt in it. It's salty. So I don't want it to be salty. So I'm just going to use a little bit like that. And I'm just going to mix it all in. Just like that. There's two more things gotta go in here and then it's done. All right, one thing I gotta get is some black pepper. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry for that, but I had to because that's where the pepper was. <laughs> See, I got my pepper here, y'all. Yeah, I hope I don't start sneezing because pepper do make me sneeze. We, going, we use a lot of pepper because we like pepper. That's how we roll up in here. That's how we roll up in here. That's how we 
That's how we, that's how we roll up in here. You found it, Isaiah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so one more thing. We're going to use one pack of this Sazon, baby. A Sazon. A Sazon, baby. And this is the one without the color. This is the one without the color, y'all. You can use the one with the color if you want, but I'm not using that one. I'm using this one without the color. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead? Oh, shoot. We're going to keep on trying to go on. And I told him I'm, I'm videoing. It's probably... I don't know which one we're going to Let's see. All right, so yeah, that's done, y'all. So now this is uh, seasoned well. Now I got the pot. We're going to turn the pot on. Okay. I am going to add a little bit of Crisco. Because um, I normally buy oil. I would normally buy like the canola oil or something like that. But listen, food prices is going up. This big thing here was $11. So guess what? This is what we got. I could use this. Yeah, I can use this over and over and over. Well, not like you know what I mean. I can use it, and then it um, when it gets cooler, it just like get like this again, and then I could just go ahead and use it. I can't afford to be spending all that money on some oil. Like, food prices went up, y'all. Gas went up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now we gotta stretch more than ever. You know what I'm saying? Now we gotta prepare and stretch. Maybe one day I'll show you guys my prep, um, my pantry closet that where I prep my food. And I have long time prep too that I put up, but it's somewhere in an undisclosed location that I will not say on my. All right, so now this is on, and it's already hot because I had it on earlier. So we're going to add all of this meat. You hear that signal? Yes, sir. All this yumminess, all this deliciousness. Mm, mm. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm just gonna let that brown, okay? Clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna start on the rice. Well, I guess I clean afterwards because I don't wanna take up too much time trying to clean. Turn that off, whatever that is I'm taking. I already told you that. Okay. Clean as we go. Okay, we're gonna put this up and start the rice. Here's my pot. This is my favorite pot for rice, y'all. I know it's all banged up. It's old. That means that we have a lot of good rice in this pot. So we're going to use this pot tonight for the rice. Now. I'm just making regular uh, white rice tonight. No um, no flavored rices or anything like that. Tonight is simple. Uh, I need a cup. I need all the water in the cup. Alright. So I just measured my... This way. Well, Isaiah, I wish you was here early and you could have started taking this thing. You could have held the camera for me. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so we have the rice on. We have the meat going. I'm just going to let this cook a little slower now. And then after that, I'll make the gravy and, and put the onions in there. Just let it simmer. And then that'll be done. Just as simple as that. I have some chicken here. Uh, after I finish dinner, I'm going to clean my chicken. 
and get ready because I'm having a cookout on Sunday. So for that, uh, let me show. For the cookout, for the cookout, I'm making um, I'm making uh, shish kebabs. I'm gonna make beef shish kebabs, chicken shish kebabs, and then I'm gonna have regular chicken, like you know, chicken legs, chicken wings, chicken thighs on the grill. So we're gonna do some jerk. And we're gonna do some uh, barbecue. Uh, what else is on the menu? I'll probably throw a couple of hamburgers on for the kids, you know, they can never wait for the food. So I'll probably throw some, some little hamburgers or hot dogs on there for them. Um, probably going to make some uh, sides. I, probably, I want my husband to make potato salad, y'all. He makes the best potato salad. So I really want him to do the potato salad. And um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Maybe some baked beans. I haven't, we haven't had that for a while, but I don't know. So we make some sides to go with that, and then that's going to be a must thing because my stepson, is coming for well, he's supposed to be coming we supposed to have dinner last week but he couldn't make it but this week hopefully everything goes well and he makes it and we're going to do a month thing together me and my own stepson so that should be really nice that should be really really nice this smells good y'all and they don't even have the onions and stuff in it yet but it's already smells good and then after I, I think it's done enough, I'm going to taste it, see if it has enough seasoning in it. I think I did enough seasoning, but I like to taste it just to make sure. So, but it still has um, blood in it, so I'm going to taste it now. But once it, like, you know, gets cooked well, I'll taste it for taste. You know? Yeah, y'all. And then I'm going to boil some water. I'm going to drop the broccoli in the boiling water. And then I'm going to take the broccoli out and put it in some ice in an ice bath because I want my broccoli to be done but crunchy. I don't want it to be mushy and soft. So and then I'll make a sauce to go with it. Uh, I have a whole lot of Chinese spices and stuff like soy sauce. I got oyster sauce. I got stir fry sauce. All kind of sauce. So I'm probably going to do like a stir fry sauce to go on top of the broccoli. Um, it all depends how how this tastes because you got to you have to match for me. Let me see. Let me see. All right, y'all. I'm going to pause it and until I'm ready for the next step. Uh, I'm so scared to touch this because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it's this one. All right, y'all. I'm back. Now, I'm going to bring the camera close because I want you to see some. Hopefully, you don't get fogged up. You see, it made gravy on its own. And I tasted it, y'all, and it's perfect. It don't need anything else. It's so good. It's so tasty. You don't need anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a um, I'm gonna make my gravy with cornstarch, and then I'm gonna put the peppers and onions in there. Everything simmer together by itself. So this gravy on the bottom is what's gonna help my gravy taste good. It's not gonna need anything. So we're gonna put some cornstarch. I could use flour, y'all, but I, I I don't wanna use no flour. I'm gonna use the cornstarch today. We're gonna add. A little cornstarch and then I'm gonna if I had some um broth I would use broth but I ain't got none all right Charles so we're going I'm probably gonna need more water than this but we start out with this so you just add that in there Ooh. It's going to thicken up really fast. Really, really fast. It's already thickening it up. Isaiah, quickly, come here. Because it's already so thick. Can you guys see how thick that is already? Put some water in, half a cup of water in here while I'm doing this, please. Okay, just put it there. Thank you, sir. All right, so this is the perfect time, y'all, for me to add the mushrooms, the peppers, and the onions. Okay, so we're going to add the mushrooms. I'm gonna break them in half. Yeah, that one thickened up. I need to thin it out. Yeah, that's good.
This is going to be so delicious, especially with these mushrooms. Yes, yes, y'all. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. Uh, to the beach, y'all. This is going to be so good. Okay. Now, y'all, this is going to look like a whole, whole lot. But I want it that way. Like I told you, I want a lot of veggies in here and I want to be able to stretch this meal for two days. So that's why. And then, you know, when you cook the peppers, they kind of shrink anyway. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to dump all of it in like this. Just like that. Try to turn them in as best you can. Mm, this is going to be so delicious, y'all. I'm going to add a little more water in here. And like I said, it's well seasoned, so it can handle this water because it's well seasoned. And um, I'm going to taste it again anyway to see if it's um, if it's okay. All right, so now at this point, there's nothing to do but to let it cook. So I'm going to put a top on it. And it's on low. Let's see, It's on low, so I'm going to leave it alone let it do what it do. And that is my beef pepper. What am I saying? Beef pepper steak, y'all. All right, so hold on. We got more to do. All right, so we need to stir this rice. Now it's time. The rice is boiling, so it's time to turn the rice down, put it top, and let it steam. I don't add no salt to my rice. I, I mean, there's plenty of flavor in this meat to go over the rice, so there's no need to put salt on the rice. So I'm gonna cover this. And then, last but not least, we're gonna get this broccoli done. And the only thing I'm going to do with this is wash it, clean them, and like I said, I'm going to um, let the, the water boil first, put them in for a minute, shake them out, put them in ice bath, and then make a gravy for this. Now, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do all of that on camera. I'm thinking I may pause this and then show you the end result, but I will be mukbanging this. I'm sorry y'all for the steam. That's all up in the camera. Sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to um, maybe, let me see if I can get that steam to go the opposite way. Yeah, that's better. So I'm thinking maybe um, I'll pause this. Let's see, the video is 18 minutes. I think what I'm going to do is pause the video and then show you the end result. All right, hold still. All right, y'all. I know I told you I'm going to show you the end result, but there's going to be a mukbang right after this and you'll get to see the food then so um i'm gonna go ahead and end the video my son has to use the phone and um yeah so you see it i'm gonna do i'm gonna be eating this food right after this video so hold tight y'all just watch my video so if you like like share and subscribe please thank you have a blessed blessed rest of your day all right